If you can believe it, we're about to be a quarter through 2023, and with April on the horizon, we now know of the next batch of PS Plus games, a part of its essential tier. April's PlayStation Plus lineup will feature Sackboy, A Big Adventure, Meet Your Maker, and Tales of Iron. One of those games, Meet Your Maker, isn't a surprise, as it was already officially revealed as a launch day freebie earlier this month. All three games will be available to claim starting April 4th. It's rare that this happens, but each of the games has a PS5 and PS4 version that will be up for grabs. Sackboy A Big Adventure is essentially Little Big Planet's take on Super Mario 3D World, and it's awesome. Great platforming, mechanics, stellar level design, and an incredible soundtrack make Sackboy a smile-inducing adventure. If you're looking for a game to play with your kids or adults that are kids at heart, this is ideal for couch co-op for up to four players. For the masochists out there, Aunt Bug Studios Tales of Iron is worth checking out. This side-scrolling RPG with storybook graphics features challenging melee combat that will test your fortitude. You play as a rat named Reggie who leads the charge to save the kingdom from evil frogs. Meet Your Maker is a brand new online multiplayer game that launches for consoles and PC on April 4th. PlayStation Plus subscribers won't have to spend a dime to start playing though. It's described as a building and raiding game that tasks you with creating and plundering labyrinthine fortresses filled with perilous traps and guards. You can build your own outpost and then invite your friends to try to make it to the end of your dastardly maze. You can build and raid outposts solo or alongside a buddy. PlayStation might be wanting to distract you with those three new offerings from the release of The Last of Us Part 1 on PC, which, unlike other successful recent port launches on the platform, such as Insomniac's two Spider-Man games and God of War 2018, has been anything but. Players are incredibly unhappy with the port, with reviews on Steam sitting at mostly negative at the time of recording. That's in large part because the port isn't running well for a number of players, with some experiencing frequent crashes, frame rate issues and the game taking a long time to build shaders on the initial startup. On top of that, the game isn't playing well on Steam Deck, though it isn't verified on that platform just yet. Naughty Dog has acknowledged the issues since the game launched and promised to address them in upcoming patches. Not all of the reviews are negative though, with some players noting they aren't experiencing any issues, even with lower-end PCs, though some are still experiencing long waiting times to download shaders. So yeah, if you were wondering about whether to pick up The Last of Us Part 1 on PC, it might be a good idea to wait a couple more weeks to see if things improve. Hopefully you won't have to wait as long as August 10th, which is the new release date for action RPG Atlas Fallen. What's most peculiar about this announcement is that the game's original launch of May 16th was only revealed earlier this month on March 1st, which might break the record for the quickest delay in gaming history. What do you think about April's PS Plus lineup? Have you been experiencing any issues with The Last of Us on PC, and are you excited for Atlas Fallen? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you here for more GameSpot news.